at this time, uh, we are, especially in New York, really quarantined inside, in our homes, in our studios as artists. Um, and this need for um, self-reflection and the opportunity for self-reflection kind of converge. I had gone to Scandinavia and this notion of hige, um, which is where you take a moment to reflect on your day. That's the Danish word. In Scandinavia, it's called fika. It's like a moment to pause in the middle of the day or after work even. And I studied um, the, the art of tea ceremony and tea ritual in Japan when I lived there. Tea is this sort of symbolic time and ritual uh, for reflection and pause. So I start on this thicker um, mixed media paper and I lay down the tea to kind of saturate it because I'm interested in infusing or um, kind of evoking this sense of calm or pause, but letting the tea make irregular organic forms. And I have a whole series of um, flora, fauna hybrids and invented botanicals um, throughout the many years that I've worked with Nancy Hoffman. But these are um, kind of imbued with some kind of emotional psycho psychological resonance with the other ones. Um, it's kind of an outcropping of sort of found or discovered nature. I start with pencil and then I work into it by determining dominant elements and um, bringing out sort of emphasis of pattern and ornamentation and it's kind of repeating the forms and shapes. It's almost like walking through a visual maze. The pursuit of this kind of drawing and this um, content feels really um, meaningful to me as an artist making time. I mean, I guess making work in this time, but I think also making a time for reflection, making a time for recovery, healing, um, contemplating, being grounded in the elemental properties of the tea on the paper and the sort of mesmerizing drawing, both the making of it and um, the looking at it.